Tired of high ping, lag spikes, and slow downloads while gaming? In this video, I'll show you how to fully optimize your internet connection step by step so you get smoother gameplay, lower latency, and the fastest speeds possible. Let's get started. What's treated with the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. First, click on your Windows search bar and type Allow an App. From the suggestions, click on Allow an App through Windows Firewall. Once the window opens, click on the Change Settings button at the top. Now, scroll through the list and find a game or application that's giving you high ping or network issues, like Fortnite, for example. If you don't see your game listed, click on Allow Another App at the bottom, then hit Browse and manually locate the game's executable file. Once added, make sure both private and public checkboxes are ticked. This ensures the game has full network access, whether you're on a home or public connection. When you're done, click OK to apply the changes. This simple step ensures your firewall isn't silently throttling your game's connection behind the scenes. Now, click on your window search, type VPN, and open VPN settings. If you've manually added a VPN connection in Windows, you'll see it listed here. Simply select it and click Remove or Disconnect. But that's not all. If you're using a browser extension like Chrome or a separate VPN software like ProtonVPN or NordVPN, make sure those are also turned off or fully disconnected. Even if they're running in the background, they can add unnecessary latency and cause packet loss during online games. Disabling all active VPNs ensures you get a more direct and faster connection to game servers. Next, click on your Windows search, type inetcpl.cpl and press enter. This will open the Internet Properties window. At the top, switch to the Connections tab, then click on the LAN Settings button. In the new window that appears, look for the option labelled Use a Proxy Server for your LAN. If this box is checked, go ahead and uncheck it. Unless you're using a specific proxy on purpose, this setting can negatively affect your gaming performance and cause unstable ping. Once done, click OK then OK again to apply the changes and close the window. Now it's time to boost your network even further. Download the Ultimate Network Boost Pack directly to your PC. It's available on my official website. Just go to uptopacks.com, click on the FPS Boost tab and find the pack with the same title and thumbnail as shown in this video. Once you spot it, simply hit Download. It's a quick one-click process, no extra steps needed. After downloading, open the folder named Network Registries Optimization. Inside, you'll find three powerful registry tweaks. Prioritize game traffic, optimize TCP, network throttling disable. All you need to do is double click each of these registry files and allow them to install. These tweaks are designed to reduce network delay 
disable bandwidth throttling and ensure your system prioritizes game data packets, resulting in smoother gameplay and lower ping. Now, this next step is extremely important for fixing ping spikes and network issues. In the downloaded pack, locate the file named lowping.bat, right click on it and select run as administrator. When prompted, click yes. This script will now run with full admin permissions and will display a message that says successfully reset the Winsock catalog. This reset helps clear out any corrupted network configurations that could be affecting your gaming connection. However, you'll see a note saying you need to restart your computer. Don't restart just yet. We still have a few more tweaks to make. For now, simply minimize the window and continue with the next steps. Now launch TCP Optimizer, one of the most powerful tools for tuning your internet settings for gaming. Once it opens, start by selecting the network adapter you're currently using for your internet connection. Then move the slider at the bottom to the 100 plus Mbps position. This ensures that all optimizations are geared toward high speed connections. After that, move into manual adjustments for advanced control. Disable auto-tuning, which is supposed to optimize data flow but often causes lag or inconsistencies in online games. Also, turn off scaling heuristics, as it can interfere with throughput on certain networks. Change the congestion control provider from cubic to CTCP, compound TCP. This setting is much better for high-speed, high-latency connections and improves data transfer efficiency. Now, disable RSS, receive side scaling, and RSC, receive segment coalescing. These features are designed to offload network load from the CPU, but often cause issues during heavy gaming. Set the time to live, TTL, value to 64, which helps maintain consistent connectivity across different routers. Next, turn off checksum offloading, chimney offload, and LSO, large send offload. While these are meant to boost performance, they often create instability in online games. You should also enable TCP 113.23 timestamps, which help optimize performance on high latency networks by enabling both timestamps and window scaling. In the advanced settings, disable the network throttling index, which can limit your connection speed during gaming or streaming. Set the system responsiveness to gaming, ensuring your system prioritizes real-time traffic and low latency. Once all these tweaks are done, apply the changes and restart your PC to enjoy a more stable and faster connection that's fully optimized for gaming. Now, right-click on the Windows icon in your taskbar and select Task Manager from the menu. Once it opens, go to the Performance tab on the left, then scroll down and click Open Resource Monitor at the bottom. This tool gives you detailed insights into how your network is being used. Inside Resource Monitor, switch to the Network tab. Here, you'll see a full list of applications and processes currently using your internet connection. Pay special attention to the TCP connection section. It shows live data on packet transmission and latency for each app. This is where you can spot programs that might be hogging bandwidth in the background. If you find apps that you rarely use or that aren't essential while gaming, go ahead and close them to free up valuable network resources. Next, under the Network Activity section, you'll see exactly which apps are using the most bandwidth. If something stands out, like a cloud sync tool or browser eating bandwidth, simply right-click on the process and choose End Process. If multiple related processes are running, use End Process Tree to shut down everything linked to that app in one go. Also, keep an eye out for system services like SVCHOST XE. While many of these are crucial for Windows to function, some instances might be using unnecessary bandwidth, especially if updates or telemetry are running in the background. If you notice high usage from these services during gaming, it's worth researching which ones can be safely limited or disabled to reduce latency and stabilize your connection. Press the Windows key, plus R, type gpd.lc and press enter to open the group policy editor. Once inside, navigate to the following path. Computer configuration, administrative templates, network, QoS packet scheduler. Here, double-click on the setting named Limit Reservable Bandwidth. 
In the window that appears, select the enabled option. Then, change the bandwidth limit, odd percent, from the default value of 8% to 90%. Click apply, then OK, and close the group policy editor. By default, Windows reserves 20% of your total bandwidth for system level tasks, such as updates and telemetry, leaving only 8% for your actual online activities. By adjusting this setting, you're effectively freeing up 9% of your total connection for your games, downloads, and real-time usage, while limiting background system traffic to just 10 cent. This tweak helps reduce random ping spikes and stabilizes your connection during online gameplay. Once you've made this change, restart your PC to fully apply the new settings. With a larger portion of your bandwidth now prioritized for gaming, you should experience smoother performance, lower latency, and fewer disruptions, getting you closer to achieving that ultra low ping in Fortnite or any other multiplayer game. And that's it. With these tweaks, you'll get lower ping, faster speeds, and smoother gameplay. If this helped, hit like and drop a comment with your results. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips.